Hello everybody, Grace Still Blazer. We're back with more brick rig. So here we are on the grid map. Now don't you worry, we're not gonna be here for very long. Of course, a day with gray isn't complete unless something explodes, but we're here for right now because there is some big things afoot. Literally, big things afoot. Creator of the game made another update to the game, and this time, he completely changed. Look at this. He completely changed the um the garage the garage is simply massive now you can fit objects in here of ridiculous sizes and that is awesome because he saw a couple of creations he saw one from verdeth that was the p1000 that verdeth made which is like legitimately one of the biggest things that have ever been made in big brick rigs right here and also a crane by, was it Scrumptious? Yeah, I'm right over here. <laughs> the Scrumptious Crane. When the creator saw these two things, he knew he had to take some measures into his own hands. And he created a new area for us to build things in. So, that as it is, Verdeth went back into it and created the P1000 with a full interior. So, look look at this. This, this is absolutely and completely insane. Let's go ahead. I don't know how long this is going to take to spawn. I have I have no idea. I'm going to have to edit this out. We're going to go ahead and spawn this in. And now his P1000 has a full interior. Let's take a look at it. And here we are. Now, there's a couple things I want to mention real quick. A couple people had said that when they brought this in, it crashed their game. There's something you need to know. This thing takes a long, long time to load in. Even on my computer, it takes like, I think, two or three minutes simply to just load in. And I'm using a 6700K overclock to um, 4.7 gigahertz. I've got a 980 Ti and I've got 16 gigs of RAM. The only reason I say that is because people always ask. This is cool. Look at this. There's guys out here. <laughs> There's guys out here now. This guy's got some. Look at this. This guy's got some uh, binoculars on. The other dude over here is like. Gun ho! <laughs> He's charging. All right, let's take a look at the inside of this baby. Oh my, this thing looks so good. Let's go inside. Now we have, now we have a full interior here now. Remember, so let's check this out. Oh yeah, look at all the shells and everything. Oh, that's sweet. We got some crates over here. There's your wood grain crates. Kind of like, look at all that. Look at this. Look at the rounds and stuff. Everything's kind of like leaned, looking very, very realistic. All these planks over here are kind of leaned and scattered about. It's that perfect mixture between looking like very, very clean and like a little bit lived in. You know what I mean? Check this out over here. There's the rounds going up. Now, what is this over here? Maybe like fire extinguishers? Some sort of fire suppression or something like that? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. That means something. I think you guys told me at one point. Uh, we've got some more. Oh, there's our, there's our motors. Right over there, more fire suppression, I think. Um, let's continue to look over this way. Man, this thing is huge. Look at how crazy this thing is. Oh, we got some dials. This is this the periscope or something? That would be cool. Look at that. It's got dials on it. There is a hatch right there. I think that's what that is. Let's go ahead and look over here. Yep, more rounds. Oh, boy, I get lost every once in a while. Hold on. Uh, 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 there we go. More rounds. We got some ladders over there. Let's see what's over on this way. There's a hatch. Right there, I know that goes to the outside. In fact, we may be able to use that and walk through this thing legitimately. Hold on a second here. Let me go ahead and jump out. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, where's that hatch at? Oh, it's probably around back over here. Move around back. The only thing that's weird, look at it. The kind of like the wheels are doing like a weird little shimmy or something like that. Very interesting. All right, let's go ahead and action. Yes. There we go. Open up the hatch. Hup. Can we get, oh, can I get inside? Am I able to get inside? Oh, I managed to get into the cockpit. Look at this. Look at this! This is oh, this is like the gunner's area. Look, the rounds are coming. Oh wow, Verdeth, you got to be kidding me, man! The rounds are coming up. They go on this little thing right here. Hold on, now let me see if I can. Yep, and they slide right into the tubing. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Anyway, I just wanted to show this to you guys because this thing, like, I couldn't imagine this thing would look any better, and then it looked better. So if I'm in this, can I drive this? Oh, we can. There it is. Bam! Yeah! There goes your rounds and stuff. Now, there's a weird little... Hold on here. I'm kind of curious. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is insane. 
There's like a little explosive looking propane tank or something over here next to our uh, next to our building. Can we hit this? Hold on. Let me go ahead and line on up with the cannons here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. If I get anywhere near this thing, it should explode. All right, right about here. All right. Stop. Stop. All right, right there. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, baby. Hold on. Ready and. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, this thing. This is an absolute work of art. This thing is just just beautiful. All right, now, let's get back into our regular map and look at some other cool stuff. Don't worry, there's plenty of cool stuff on the workshop. All right, so bigger isn't always better, just most of the time. Barbarian has been hard at work over here making really cool stuff. That isn't always, like, blow up a bull or anything like that. Not always guns and things on it. We've got Pepe's Tacos over here. Let me ask you boys something. You boys like tacos? I do. We've got, look at this. It's got, like, little flaps on it. Did, did, did you see how the little flaps were kind of, like, waving right there? That looks legit. Established in 1987. Because that was a good year, boys. It was a good year 1987 was. Let's go ahead and take uh, Pepe's Taco Truck. Kind of move it right over here because there's something else that goes along with Pepe's taco truck. Hold on, let's go ahead and put this guy right. I like the color pattern too. The color pattern looks legit. All right, right about here. All right, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this beautiful creation. Oh yeah, it. This is this is awesome. And but here's the cool part. Okay, right. So the outside is cool. You know, looks legit. Sweet colorations. Got the little flap over there. But it's the inside that's crazy. Once you're in here, we've got the full grill area for your uh, your taquitos and your burritos, whatever the other. We've got some ketchup and mustard over here. I don't really totally know what that is right there. Maybe like a garbage can or something. But it just, it looks good. Like the inside, the whole thing looks freaking sweet. I love this thing so much. So, we've got the taco truck. Now, there's something that goes along with it. Hold on now. We're not done yet. Barbarian over here. He's he's dealing them out, baby. Pepe's Taco Bar. Yes, when you're tired of blowing stuff up with an endless stream of tanks. Why not visit Pepe's? The setting is inviting and colorful, as is the food. Oh, we'll be, it'll be colorful all right. Oh, look at this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on here. Is there a light pattern for this? It looks like there's a light pattern for this. Oh, hold on. I think I just activated it. We got to turn. Hold on. Yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Come over to Pepe's, boys. Uh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Hold on. We got some headlights, too. What the headlights do? Ow! There we go. Hold on. Hold on. We need to look at this. Oh, what? What? Okay, look at that craziness over here. We got some pots and pans over here on the grill top. Got all your condiments and everything. There's the uh, there's the grill hood or whatever that is. Then that take out all the smoke and everything from all the grease. We've got several. I don't know what this could be over here. This is is this like something to drink maybe? Are these cups or is that just more condiments? Got an area over here to see our little guy. Having something right here. He's got his plate. He's got his drink. Everything's good. A couple more places over here to sit down, should you wish it. Right over there. We've got, I don't know, is that like an AC unit? Something like that. A couple of plates. This, I mean, come on now. This is, that That looks, that looks amazing. So, this over here, I'm actually kind of, hold on, I'm actually kind of curious. So, we've got some really cool light patterns. If we turn on uh, Pepe's bar over there. What about this? What about this thing over here? I haven't messed around with the light patterns nearly enough. I really should do this more often. All right, so we got that right there. And are there any other beacons or anything like that? No, there's no other beacons or anything. But there are a lot. There's a lot of lighting. Oh, there's a couple of warning lights too. There's even more lighting over here. Holy God. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me go ahead. This thing lights up like a Christmas tree. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So. The fact that it has some special lighting over there, I actually want to see real fast. That had some special lighting with J. How about on this? Do we have any additional lighting? Um, yeah, there is a little bit of extra lighting inside. Look at that. Where's that coming from? Oh. Oh, oh, it's the burners. Hold on. It's the burners. 
Ah! <laughs> oh. All right, Barbarian. Good, good job, man. I don't know what else to say. These look absolutely fantastic. Let's go back over here to uh, to daytime real quick. These look so good that I'm going to feel absolutely terrible about slaughtering them. But you know it. You know it has to happen. It has to happen. We can't. We can't not blow these beautiful creations up and blow them up. We will. Tom Loco with the XD or whatever that might be. Back again with the super giant AA Elliot. Let's check this thing out. It says this mobile AA has two powerful, is that miniguns? MGs or machine guns? For destroying planes or everything you want. I, I hope it's, M I hope MG is something like that. It's not something weird like, I don't know, musical gangsters or something. Let's go ahead and put this thing down. Oh yeah, there we go. Now, what will happen? Hold on, what kind of, oh. Hold on a second. Do we have a whole interior for this as well? Hold on. Oh! Oh! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Oh, there's a camera over here! There's like a whole bunk area! Oh, and a chow hall! That's crazy! A couple of cups over there. Oh, here's our little buddy. Where he where he's sitting over here in the main cockpit area. What do you like that? How do you like all that? Wow! Alright, oh, man, I tell you, you gotta, you really gotta, like, hang around and look at this stuff, otherwise you miss a bunch of it. Alright, so let's go ahead and take our cannons over here. Go ahead and move over into... I, I would, hold on, right, where in the world you want it, right, can I go f any further down? I don't think I can, I think this is kind of as far down as I could go. I don't know if we're gonna be able to hit it, I'm actually not 100% sure, I guess we'll find out though. Ready, boys? Hold on. Fire the cannons! Nope. That is a full swing and a miss. We are totally unable to hit this stuff. How about that? How about Pepe's bar? Oh. Oh, it's so close and yet so far. We gotta tilt this thing somehow. All right, we're gonna make Pepe's taco stand pain a little bit. First, though, I had to show you guys this. So, like I said, the workshop is getting bigger. Well, the, the garage is physically getting bigger. And look at this thing. This thing is made by Vansan. V-A-N-S-A-N. This is a giant, I think this was from Pacific Rim. It's like a giant robot. Look at this thing, it's crazy. I don't even know if it has guns or, I don't, oh, it's got thrusters on it. Oh, it's got all kinds of thrusters on it. It's got thrusters on its head and all kinds of stuff. Oh my God. How many, oh, oh, it kind of walks. It kind of walks. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, it's not walking anymore. Oh, what have I done? Oh, what have I done? Ooh, okay. All right. Yep. Just no big deal. Kind of like playing quap. Kind of like playing quap. No big deal. There we go. Oh, we're doing the... Wow, we are doing the absolute kicky flips over here. <laughs> A little difficult to pilot. You know how it is. I think this is mostly... Hold on. I think this is mostly a thing... Oh, oh, hold on. I, I kind of got it. Nope, totally don't. There. It's standing. Yes. Okay, good. I got it. It's standing. Everything's fine. I was gonna say, this might be one of those creations where you mostly just kind of want to like look at it, like bask in the in the in the beauty of it. There's really nothing else. Hold on here. What kind of what kind of camera angles do we have? Well, that's about it. Um if we go over to F1, we can kind of see recover. I'm not worried about all that. Operation mode, handbrake, fire, cycle, steering. Hell oh, steering, yeah, right. It's kind of like a dance thing. You got it. You got. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. How long can you stay on your feet? That's the question. I, I have invincibility on too. What would happen if I take it? If I take invincibility off? This would this thing just absolutely. Yep. Blue. Blue. Oh, the pieces. Oh, the pieces. Go, buddy. Go do the capoeira. No, don't fall on your. Oh, come on. oh, 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 oh no. Well. We all knew it was only a matter of time. We all knew it was only a matter of time before something fell and everything around me blew up. That was gonna happen. All right, let's use the keep it simple stupid method. We've got the A22 Churchill Mark IV from Grouchy over here. Grouchy always working hard making tanks and the tanks he makes looks great. Not only are his tanks, not only do they look good, he always does an interior too. So there's always a little bit of interior in here where you can kind of take a look at. Actually, I wonder, hold on here. 
Is there a... I kind of wondered... Yep, right over here. I knew there was a cockpit around here somewhere for us to take a look at. So, the Churchill. How good are you at blowing stuff up? Oh, the... Yes, the cannon looks like it moves up and down pretty well. All right, let me go ahead and slow things down and fire, Pepe! Yeah! That's what we were waiting for. Pepe had no idea what was coming on this day. There's your tacos made fresh and hot. Boom! Right in midair. Oh, the Churchill. It does not take crap from anyone. Can I get it midair, Ray Boys? Oh, oh, just barely. All right, I'm going to take one more shot here. One more shot. Ready? Ready? And fire. Oh, not yet. Fire. Fire. Please fire. There it is. Just barely. All right. So Pepe's over there. Hey! It's raining bricks. Hallelujah. Oh, can I hit it from here? Nope. We got fencing in the way. All right, I'm not going to worry about that. So now we have the taco bar. The, ta the, the, taco, the taco truck got wrecked. So what about the taco bar? This will be full speed for you guys. I know some of you guys like full speed. Die, taco bar! Bam! Poor Pepe's. Pepe's. Sorry, man. That's what happens when you don't pay the rent. Instead of repoing, though, the Churchill comes out and blows everything you got to smithereens. Ah! All right, so the Churchill is sweet, no doubt about it. But here's the everything destroyer. You guys remember this. This thing is awesome when it comes to tearing things apart. So let's go ahead and slow things down. I want to, I wanna like, legitimately just absolutely wreck this thing. Hold on. There we go. Hold on, let me go ahead and pull back a little bit here so we can really get a good look at this. Yes! Good! Pet base didn't know. Hold on. Go ahead and speed things up a little bit. There we go. Yeah! Oh, sometimes you just need a lot of guns and a lot of bullets to make you happy. Let's, there we go. Let's get this thing up and airborne. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see from way downtown. Man, the everything destroyer is so cool. I do, I do like my giant guns, but every once in a while, having something that can tear something apart is also sweet. Look at how fast this thing moves. Wow, these things got turbocharged. Hold on, right? Here we go. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, I wonder. Hold on. All right, Churchill. Sorry, man. You are a sweet looking tank, but it's time for you to go down. Shred it. Shred the Churchill. I think. I think we may have shredded it. I'm not 100% sure. Hold on. There we go. There's definitely still some pieces left. Let's go ahead and finish. Wow. Okay. That is absolutely insane. Um, I almost feel like if I could fit the P-1000 on this map, I feel like we have to rip it apart with this thing because that would just be really, really sweet. So we're talking big creations, right? Barbarian made a massive, and I'm talking massive. Look at this. This is like getting to be the size of the actual buildings that are pre-made in the game. He made this massive, it's currently empty, obviously, because it would just be like so many bricks if there was an interior to this. This gigantic office building, look at this, it's under construction, you got your, you got your little planter right over here. Inside, couple of pillars, nothing too much, nothing too crazy, but it's real job is to get absolutely obliterated. So let's go find ourselves another another beast of power and rip this thing to the ground. Grouchy over here doing the SU-85B. Looks like a pretty sweet vehicle. And I think it's gonna be absolutely perfect for wrecking that giant building. Let's go ahead and teleport it down over here right next to the building. Now let's take a moment here. Hold on. Let's take a moment here to enjoy this thing. Again, we got two little dudes inside here. Look at them working on, working on the, uh, on the insertion of the bullets very very hard you know how it is bullets looking good over there i can't even really call them that projectiles is probably a better or i don't know explosives probably a better deal to call them that we've got the engine looking down over here anything else no not too much but this isn't like a super huge tank 
But needless to say, it should have plenty of firepower to wreck some fools. Let's go ahead and line this up. Now, this one, the turret does not move. So, hold on. Let me go ahead and stop things real quick. So, it goes up and down, but it does not go left and right. So, you have to kind of, like, line on up wherever you want to go. So, let's go ahead and line ourselves right up in here. What kind of... There we go. All right. What does this thing do? Let's find out. Wow! All right. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. Um, oh, hold on. I think we're starting to blow into the side of this thing now. Wow. This building can take a friggin' punishment. I'll tell you what. Come on. Can we blast through the entire building? Come on. Get through it. Get through it. Wow. This is... Okay, this building is... It's very, very resilient. There we go. I think now we're starting to put a little dent into it. There we go. Finally, I think we've blown through one side and out the other. Hold on. Let me double check on this. Oh, maybe we haven't. Look at how many bricks we had to break through. All right. So, definitely a good vehicle. But I think we're going to need something with a little bit more beef in order to get through something this size. That's right. Now, the Elliot gets to shine. Elliot, you've got an entire building before you. You know, hold on here. Let me get, let me get this, let me get this camera moved up just right. There we go, right about like that. Elliot, you know what to do, take her down, baby! Yeah! Saw it in half! Saw that building in half. Come on, take it down, take it down! Wow. Okay, the building is still in one piece. You know what this means? We're just not throwing enough firepower at it. Sometimes, you just need more firepower. That's right, boys. The Katyusha is back. Rise up. Rise up, Katyusha. And let us fire. Let us fire and see what happens. Hold on here. Okay, this has got to do it. Fire the thrusters! Oh. Oh. Oh, they're going! Oh, there's too many bricks! There's too many bricks for the game to handle! Oh, wow! Now that is the destruction I'm talking about! Way to go! Way to go! Holy man! Yeah! Look, the building is still almost in one piece! You gotta be kidding me! It still stands. That's impossible. All right, hold on. I still I have one last thing we can do. One final thing. Someone made me something that it actually says for gray. So I've got to get in here and I've got to use it right over here. It's made by machine. Hold on. Where did this thing go? There it is. By machine. The world restart edition for gray. I don't like if I spawn this in, does it automatically explode? Because I, I actually want to spawn this in next to the building. I mean, it's going to spawn in next to a building. But possibly not next to the building I want. Okay. All right. Everything looks fine. Everything looks just fine. Okay. Let's see here. Can I get, can I get this thing over by our other little buddy? What happened to our other little buddy? Oh, oh, I didn't mean for this to happen. Ah! Okay. All right. Okay. The game is completely frozen. I don't even know what happened anymore. I did not mean for this to happen. All I wanted to do. <laughs> Guys, I don't even. <laughs> what is happening? What in the world is happening? Oh, the World Restart Edition is right. All right. Now I think we blew up the building. Okay, um, what I expected to happen did in fact happen. Oh, what? there's a piece of the building right there. The building still lives. The building still lives. Part of it does. I expected to spawn this thing and it blow up and it, it delivered. The, the, world rest the world restart or whatever it is definitely delivered. Uh, okay, so we finally took the building down. It only took like seven different creatures. But man, it just goes to show you now, with the limitation of the workshop completely gone, people can make cre creations just of massive sizes. It's just a matter of whether or not the computer can handle it. Because some of them are so big that it's very, it's very hard to optimize, I imagine, and it's kind of difficult to make it work well on a computer. 
Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you some of these crazy, huge, huge creations. Some of them are so cool, and some of them really, really have a lot of detail, too. Like the taco cart and the, the taco uh, pub and everything like that. The taco bar looking so good. The interiors, all the tanks and everything looking fantastic. Guys, if you ever have any creations you want me to take a look at, feel free to let me know somehow. Uh, Twitter's usually the best way a lot of times. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>